Well, another water main break is causing headaches in Colorado Springs tonight. And this one happened this afternoon near Circle Drive in Fairview Circle. That's near Palmer Park. The break closed down parts of Circle during rush hour tonight. About 37 customers are without water. Work is expected to be done around midnight. Colorado Springs Mayor John Southers says better roads will help drive business. Southers used his State of the City address today to push his ballot proposal for a sales tax hike to improve roads and infrastructure. Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen's checking on the latest road problem and finding out if voters in that area will sign on with Southers. Neighbors had a sinking feeling. I think this was. Something maybe from old pipes or something. Their street was in trouble. Sewer systems and water systems are very, very old, and I'm not surprised. Utilities workers have been telling neighbors around here that this pipe is rusted out. You can see that if you take a look at the very bottom of this pipe, that water is just pouring out. Uh, I'm among uh, 30 some houses that are being affected. It's not. I don't find it tragic, but it'll be, it's inconvenient. Wendell James is not a fan of the new addition to his neighborhood. This water main break is another sign of the city's aging infrastructure. The city's roads are in historically bad shape. <laughs> Mayor John Souther says he has a plan to fix them, but he'll need voters to sign on to a sales tax increase. He pitched his plan at his State of the City address. The state of our city is good. The potential of our city is great. Some residents argue that the city should use money it already has to fix the problems. Connie Dumphy says she used to agree, but seeing this failing infrastructure has helped change her mind. It's not fun to drive over potholes. <laughs> so fixing the roads probably a good thing. And James says he's on board. I think it's necessary. They say it's time to clean up the city streets. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. Thanks, Emily. And a reminder utilities use money from ratepayers, not taxes, to fix water main breaks. The city, though, pays to fix sinkholes and potholes that open up because of weather and old age, like the one on Chestnut last month. People